Titans All Access continues with Talking Ball, presented by Duncan. General Manager John Robinson, as always, is here helping us preview Sunday's game against the Denver Broncos. They get a lot of pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Why is Denver such a complete defense overall, John? Well, I mean, I think they got a lot of good players, uh, Mike, even after, you know, the Chubb trade uh, to Miami. You know, it starts up front with the two guys in the middle, DJ Jones and Purcell, two really strong interior defensive linemen that can collapse the pocket. Uh, Draymond Jones is having an outstanding season for him. I think he's got 30 plus pressures and half a dozen sacks. Uh, two younger linebackers, both from Ohio State, Cooper and Browning, you know, they factor off the ball and as rushers. And then in the back end, you've got two really outstanding safeties. You know, Simmons has been to several Pro Bowls. Uh, Kareem Jackson, who we know from his days in Houston. Uh, both of those guys are really smart football players. They're around the ball a lot. And then at corner, they got Sertan. You know, he's a lockdown guy, uh, one of the better corners in the league. On offense, their quarterback is somebody we know from his days in Seattle. We're talking about Russell Wilson. Does it seem like that he's getting in sync with the Denver offense and that the Denver offense is sort of learning how to utilize Russell Wilson's special gifts? Yeah, he certainly made a lot of plays, both running and throwing. Uh, and he's gotten better. You know, he's, um, he's made a lot of plays in this league. There's not a defense or blitz that he hasn't seen. Um, he's got a lot of playmakers around him, too, with Sutton, uh, Judy, Hamler, you know, the three receivers. All of those guys are fast. Sutton's probably the biggest of the group. Uh, a veteran group of backs in, in Gordon Murray, and they picked up Chase Edmonds in the Chubb trade as well. And they're getting this rookie tight end, Dulcich, going a little bit too. He's a fast player out of UCLA. So you can see the progression starting to take place. All right, so John, I want to ask you about something that I saw in Next Gen Stats, which I thought was fascinating. And that is the Titans have blitzed less than any team in the NFL, and you've gotten more pressure than any team in the NFL with just four men rushing. What's allowed that to happen? How are they doing that so well? Well, I think we've done a good job of platooning players, trying to keep as many fresh guys in there as possible. Uh, I think the coordination of our rush games has been really good and the unselfishness of our players. Uh, when we ask you know, a defensive tackle to maybe go pick a, a ta an offensive tackle so that the outside rusher can come inside and then lo and behold, the guy doing I mean, all the dirty work ends up getting the sack or the pressure. Um, and then the little details and the intricacies of a pass rush uh, that we coach, uh, you're starting to see those show up on film more to help them defeat the pass sets of the offensive linemen to get back there and get pressure on the quarterback. What are the keys to beating the Denver Broncos Sunday at Nissan Stadium? Well, I think we've got to affect the quarterback, you know, the one we just talked about, continue to get pressure on him. Uh, and that starts by stopping the run, forcing them into passing situations uh, so that we can get that rush going. Um, and then offensively, it's, it's what we know. It's running the football, setting the pass up off of that, and letting our special teams complement both phases of the game. John, thanks as always. Always a pleasure, Mike.